Google defines recursion as a repeated application of a recursive procedure, which is actually a brilliant one. In computer science, recursion is when a function calls itself, just like this definition of recursion is using recursion in its own definition. Let's have a look at the Fibonacci sequence. It's a pattern of numbers that starts with a 0 and a 1, and the successive numbers are obtained by adding the previous two numbers, like 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and so on. Mathematically, we can write a function fib that takes a number n and gives us the nth Fibonacci number. Fib of n can be expressed as the sum of the n minus first and the n minus second Fibonacci numbers. How do we find the n minus first and the n minus second Fibonacci numbers? Using the same function. We know that fib n is going to give us the nth Fibonacci number, so fib n minus 1 and fib n minus 2 will give us the n minus first and the n minus second Fibonacci numbers. Fib is now defined in terms of itself, making it a recursive function. We started with a 0 and a 1, so it's important to say that the 0th Fibonacci number is 0 and the first Fibonacci number is 1. A C implementation of this function would look something like this. The lines that cause the function to terminate by returning a 0 or a 1, these two here, are called the base cases. For any recursive algorithm, base cases are a must, without which the function would never come to an end. The last return statement is just causing a loop by calling fib again. Note that calling this function with a negative number is going to result in a crash, as none of the base cases will ever come true, and it will be stuck recursing infinitely. Whenever a function is called, the function gets a separate space in memory all to itself, known as a stack frame, which is a collection of all memory allocated for the data required by the function, for its parameters, local variables, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm just interested in telling you that every function call results in creation of a new stack frame occupying more memory. Coming back to our fib function, we can say that for any number other than 0 and 1, it's going to create new stack frames by calling itself with numbers 1 and 2 less than the previous. And the children calls will go on until the numbers reach 0 or 1. Let's find the fifth Fibonacci number by calling fib5. None of the base cases are met, so this calls fib of n minus 1 first, and it can't move to the add operation until this new call returns. So fib5 will call fib4. Fib4 will call Fib3, Fib3 will call Fib2, Fib2 will call Fib1. Each of these calls correspond to a different stack frame, although the same function is being called. Now, Fib1 is not going to result in a new call to Fib, as it's a base case, so this call terminates by returning a 1 to Fib2. This is called the backtracking phase, where the children calls return values to their parents. Now, Fib2 will add Fib of n minus 2. That's fib of 0. Fib 0 is another base case which will return 0 to fib 2. We obtain the value for fib 2 as 1. Fib 3 is now 1 plus fib 3 minus 2, which is 2. Fib 4 will be 2 plus fib 2. Wait, we had computed fib 2 previously but we didn't tell our program to remember that so it's just going to make the same calls and return a 1 getting us to value 3 for fib4 fib5 is fib4 plus fib3 that's 3 plus fib3 which will finally return 2 as computed before and finally we have uh, the value 5 as the fifth Fibonacci number. These are all the calls that happen to evaluate Fib5. You can see that these calls were repeated. Had we stored these values after computing them for the first time, we could have saved some time by just returning the stored value, but storing values would require more space. This scenario is called a space-time trade-off. We can trade some extra space for a faster program, or some extra time for a smaller program all of which depends on the use case. Although recursive algorithms can look easy on the eyes, most of the times they can be really heavy on the system. That'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching.